Hello again. I have some resources on my electronic devices that help me in my daily time of prayer and reflection before the Lord. I have a couple of devotional booklets, a one-year Bible reading plan, a liturgical morning prayer app, lots of resources. During the four weeks of Advent, I continue to use my phone and iPad material, but I change up the usual apps for specific Advent resources. My friend Evelyn and I continue to pray together on the phone at the end of each evening, but we've also switched from our usual reading of a psalm to an Advent Bible reading. There is a certain kind of freshness that comes from seeing familiar scriptures in different settings. I mean, God hasn't changed. He doesn't change. He's forever faithful, and his mercies are new every morning. Remember these familiar words? Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. You know, I'm blessed to have this view out my window each morning. Here's what it looked like yesterday from just before the, when the sun came up to about an hour after it was up. You know, there's newness and freshness to the day. And God's love is like that, not only at the break of day, but all through the day. Not just in good times, but in the most challenging of seasons. God is doing his part every day, including today, to provide love and care with great compassion new and fresh. In another place in scripture, we have our response simply and clearly laid out for us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, you his servants. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. So that's what we're called to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to welcome God's love. We're going to give him praise on this first day of this new month of December in the middle of so much we don't know, but also in the middle of so much more that we do know that is steady and strong and that will last forever. Let's pray, shall we? Lord, we are so glad today to know that the earth is yours and all that fills it. You made it. You established it according to your plans. You hold us and the whole earth firmly in your loving hands. But we come again today asking to be washed clean because we need it. We want clean hands. We want a pure heart. We want trust that is based in you, the one true God, to steady us today. But it's so true that we fail to love and trust you with our whole heart. We don't love our neighbor as ourselves, as you instructed us. Forgive us, God. Make us clean. We want to come near you today. We remember with thanks that you're the one who fills our lives with benefits. You forgive all our sins. You heal all our diseases. You redeem our life from the pit. You crown us with love and compassion. You satisfy our desires with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Oh Lord, we're so grateful. So, so grateful that you are the God who is compassionate and gracious, slow to anchor, thank God, abounding in love. You don't treat us as our sins deserve. You don't repay us according to our iniquities. But like a father has compassion on his children, so you have compassion on us as we fear you, as we honor you and respect you. For you know how we're formed. You remember that we are dust. We take heart in these wonderful truths that are ours today, new and fresh. This is the compassion you are providing for us again today. This is the life of peace and blessing that is ours and for which from the rising of the sun to its going down, we're going to praise you. Amen. Well, maybe sunrise and sunset are good times today to actually pause and 
take a few moments to reflect on the beauty and the faithfulness of God's love for us. Good news is we don't even have to get up early to see the sun come up during these short daylight days here in the northern hemisphere. And it's down and dark long before supper. Whatever, light or dark, let's be filled up with God's compassion, new and fresh today. Have a great day.